Hi and welcome again. In today's video, I am going to show you how to prepare a speedometer chart in Microsoft Excel. This type of chart is trending in the project management dashboard. I have prepared this one for the project's SPI or Schedule Performance Index. If you update the value for SPI or Schedule Performance Index, for example, let's make it 0.5. As you can see, the speedometer chart will get updated as well. Furthermore, for example, let's make it 0.2. As you can see, it will come to below requirements. This type of chart can come in handy for showing your SPI, CPI, or maybe the overall status of your project. Let me take you step by step and show you how such a chart is prepared. In order to create a speedometer chart, this will be the necessary data that you will need to have to create such a chart. In here, this part of the data is designated for the ranges on the speedometer. And in this part, we are going to enter the data for the pointer, which will show where our project stands. Besides that, I have designed this one for SPI specifically. So we will need the value for SPI as well. Now let's get started. You might have different ranges for your below requirements, needs improvement, fair and in good standing. But in our case, we will say that up to 30% will be below the requirements. The next 40% will be the range for needs improvement. 20% more will be in fair standing. And the final 10%, which is from 90% up to 100%, that will be in good standing. In total, we will write down sum from this cell up to here. And close the parenthesis, press enter. The total will be 100. Now, we will insert a donut chart for this information. To do that, go to insert, go to pie chart, select donut. And here in the chart area, right click, select data. From there, click add. And the series values will be from this point up to here. Next, we'll click OK and OK. Now, when this chart is created, we'll remove the legend, we'll remove the chart title, and moreover, right click on this one, Format Data Series. In here, we will rotate this to 270 degrees. Now, for the lower part, which is the 100, we will select the fill as no fill, so it's not shown. The next thing that we will do is to create the pointer, as it's shown in here. To do that, we will add some data in here. In our case, the sum of these values should be 200. The pointer itself, for example, let's write down 45 for the time being. For the thickness, we will select value, for example, 2. As I mentioned earlier, the sum of these three cells should be 200. So the remaining part or rest part should be equal to 200 minus sum of, open parenthesis, these cells. Close the parenthesis, press enter. It's 153 for now. Furthermore, we will link the value in the pointer cell to the SPI. In here, we will write down this value equals to this value times 100. So, for example, if the value for SPI is 0.65, that value will be 65. And the total value of these cells will be 200. Now, once this is done, in here, we will right-click, select data, and from there, we will select add and select the cells we will select these values. Click OK, OK, and OK. Now, furthermore, we will change this to a pie chart. To do that, right-click this, change series chart type. To the series 2, which is the newly plotted series, we will change this to pie, and click OK. Click on the pie chart, right-click, Form a data series, we should rotate this to 270 degrees as well. So the zero starts from here. 
The only value that we want to be visible is this part, the thickness of the pointer. For the rest, we will make them no fill, so they are not visible. The same will we do for this one. So only this part is visible. Now for example, if I update this to 0.4, it will move. The next part is to make this donut a bit bolder. To do that, we will decrease the donut hole size. This much will be enough. Now once this is done, we will change the colors. For example, let's start from red and then go to green. To do that, double click on this one. In the fill, we will select solid fill and the fill for that should be, for example, red. And we will add some transparency to that. Let's 42% is okay. The same, this will become the yellow solid fill. We will select a yellow color or an orange color for this one. And the transparency should be 42%. And for this one, we will make it a bit greener. And here we will select a light green color. And we will increase the transparency to 42%. For the last one, we will make it a dark green color from here, for example. And we will increase the transparency to 42%. So now we will add the data labels. To do that, right click in here. From there, we will add data labels. And click on the data label. We won't need this one, so we will delete this one. We will click all of these, right click format data labels and in here we will select value from cells from in here we will select the names and click OK and OK and we will uncheck the value so they are shown if you wanted to increase their size or maybe the font you can do that as well so once this is done your speedometer chart is ready now, if I change the SPI, for example, to 0.75, as you can see, it will go to fair. If I make it, for example, 0.25, it will come to below requirements. I hope you like the content of the video. If you found them informative, don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel and like the video for more content like this. Thank you very much for watching.